Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you're having a good day. We have been spoiled lately by Woo and they've been giving us a lot of cool products to check out on the channel. This is no exception. This is their E7. Very compact, interesting EDC light. Two Osram P9s up front, TIR lenses. We've got a switch on top, deep carry clip. Very conducive to getting area or work light out in front of you. If you could you know, put this facing out in a pocket, pant pocket, shirt pocket, or backpack strap. Um, very useful product as is, but um, in addition to that, Wubin also included some other cool um, accessories that are available for purchase separately, turning the E7 into a nice headlamp as well. So we'll check out those accessories, talk about the features of this light, what's included with it, we'll go over the beam shots, and I'll give you my two cents on the flashlight, as well as my favorite guest, uh, Mrs. Pardon My English, she'll be back to give us her thoughts. She's used this more than I have actually, so uh, we'll have her on the channel. Well, all that sounds good. Stick around, but let's get right into it. All right, we got the E7 outside to check out the beam shots. So um, yeah, we'll go over the user interface later in the video, but basically we're gonna start with its lowest output setting here first, which is five lumens, and this has a runtime of 60 hours on this output. Nice usable level of output on low, especially for a headlamp. Here's medium. This is 150 lumens and has a runtime of four and a half hours on this output. And you can start to see that beam profile now. You do get a somewhat um, focused point of light at the, at the center. It's not crisply defined or anything, so you still get a lot of good spill for area or work light. But you are able to gaze a good distance thanks to the TIR lenses on this light. So yeah, this is high output. 400 lumens on this setting can run for 1.3 hours. And I'm trying to get a good look at the throw here, trying to get the camera to focus, but yeah, I mean, you can definitely see a good ways away with this output. Okay, here we go, starting to focus. This is the turbo max output, 1800 lumens, and this steps down to 800 lumens after one minute, and then down to 400 lumens after another minute. And then on 400 lumens, it can run for another 1.2 hours. And for those of you crazy cats who like strobe, here's a strobe. So triple click brings you into strobe mode and it appears to be a, yeah, pretty bright strobe. And then triple clicking again gets you to the SOS function, which we're looking at now. So yeah, pretty impressive from this small size of flashlight indeed. The E7 comes in this nice box. And as you can see, the light does have a five year warranty if you register it with Wubin. It is also IP68 water proof and drop safe to one and a half meters as well. So durable little light. Yeah, here's a little look at the box it comes in. And with the flashlight itself, you're also given um, the manual, nice booklet manual. Um, thought that was really nice instead of just the fold out map style kind that are hard to put back <laughs> the way you open them. Here's a USB-C to USB-C type cable, very unique bungee springy cable. Comes with the E7 and then a couple spare O-rings as well as a branded lanyard with a cinch. So that's what comes with the E7 itself if you're just looking for a versatile EDC flashlight um, and you wanna keep it kind of small. So just getting the E7 itself comes with all those things in addition to its battery, which is an 18350. It's an 1100 milliamp hour capacity cell. The nominal voltage is 3.6. So you do get this battery included as well. So very cool. Does have a protection circuit as well. So protected cell. Loving the protected batteries coming from Wubin. Uh, high quality battery with high quality light. You can't really beat it. So that's what comes with the E7 itself. But you might be thinking, okay, what if uh, what if I like the flashlight, but um, it'd be cool to have uh, a larger light or more runtime? Well, you can get this separately as well. This you know extension tube, turning the E7 into. Uh, 18 650 flashlight. So you just screw this on, drop in your 18 650. Um, this is Wubin cell here, but you can drop in any 18 650. It will work. And now you have an even bigger E7. Yes, well. well, this tube is also compatible with their headlamp system, the strap, another accessory that you can purchase separately. And I want to say, I really like how Wubin's done this. Um, in that you can pick and choose which accessories you, you may want to have um, instead of you know forcing you to get all of them or, or none of them. 
Uh, you can get the E7 and then add any of these or none of these accessories onto it as well. I think that's a good way to go. As I said before, you know, this extension tube is compatible, but if you want to keep the headlamp itself lighter, you can obviously just run the E7 with the 18350 cell instead of this larger one. Uh, magnetic tail cap, I think I mentioned that before, uh, place for your lanyard right there. But yeah, this just slides in like this, and you see this little nub? That little nub's gonna catch uh, right in this slot right here when you put it in. So you hear a little click when it is in place. Okay, yep, there we go. So yeah, now you've got a headlamp with a ton of runtime and uh, capable of 1800 lumens. And there's your switch. Here's your USB-C charging port right here behind the switch. The gasket just fits right in there. Wait. And this strap's this nice because you have these sinusoidal grippy uh, lines all the way on the inside throughout. The top, the bottom, uh, very grippy, um, found it to be very secure, and you can get a really nice fit by adjusting the straps and just sliding um, this strap around to get the light centered on your head. My favorite thing about the headlamp strap though, strap though is this uh, like kind of ratchety system. They've got to hear, um, I don't know if you can hear that. Might have to hold the mic up closer, but yeah. This little, the collar or inner, inner part of this, yeah, you can see how it works there. It ratchets the light angle and holds it securely. It's really well done. And the whole strap isn't that heavy, so I really like this design. And when you're ready to get the E7 out, um, all you'll do is you just push down on this tab, and then the flashlight can pull right through. So we have an excellent system, uh, well thought through and well designed in my opinion. Um, so this whole thing is very lightweight. The, the majority of the weight is gonna come from the light itself, but you can keep that down by running the smaller cell. Um, as I discussed before. The user interface of the E7 is very straightforward, which is a great thing for a headlamp. Uh, here's a little graphic to help show as I explain. But yeah, a single press turns the light on and then another press turns it off. If you hold down the switch, you're gonna cycle through your general modes, low, medium, and high. You can just stop. You can just release the switch when you find the output level you like right there. If you wanna access turbo, it's a double press from either off or on. And then strobe can be accessed with a triple click from on or off. Once you're on strobe, if you want to get to SOS, SOS mode, you can triple click again. So you have SOS function available. Locking out the lights also possible with four rapid clicks of the switch. And to unlock the lights, the exact same four rapid clicks. You do get a little bit of flashing when you lock the light out. You get a couple blinks to let you know you just locked the light out. And then if you go to turn it on later and forget, um, the indicator will blink at you letting you know the light's still locked out. So yeah, unlocking it like I mentioned before, just or rapid clicks again, you're back in business. But yeah, that's all there is to the user interface of the E7, which I like. Not overly complicated, and the output levels are well spaced out, in my opinion. The inductor comes with the inductor itself, a very short USB-C to USB-C cable, and it's manual. And to sum it up, um, if you wanna, this is used just like a switch, except instead of pressing a button, you just wave your hand in front of this, um, five centimeters is the range in which you know this can detect things. So if you walk past a wall that's like a foot or two away, it's not gonna set it off, which is good. It's gotta be pretty close. But yeah, by waving your hand um, past this sensor, this inductor, you can change your output levels. And basically you have access to the exact same uh, modes with this, including lockout. You can actually lock out the flashlight with this inductor as well. So as you can see, you can use their very short cable included with the inductor or the kind of bungee cable that's included with the E7. But yeah, that's a look at the inductor. And basically it's just got a little clip on the back. So if you do want to use this in combination with the light, it just hooks right into the USB-C port right here. And plug it in here. Now we've got a futuristic headlamp set up. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit more. But yeah, as you can see, we wave our hand past this inductor, turn the light on. 
All right, lucky us, we've got my favorite guest back on the channel. This is Mrs. Pardon My English, and she's gonna talk to us about her experience with the E7. Yeah, so I took this light on a run this, this week, early in the morning, and I really liked this light. I felt like it was really easy to adjust the, the brightness settings. I felt comfortable like cars and other pedestrians could see me. And I really liked this strap because it didn't wobble around on my head when I was running, which is super important. So there you have it, folks. An opinion from an actual user. It doesn't get better than that. And my wife has officially claimed the E7 as part of her morning kit. So I might get to use it occasionally, but yeah, she loves this one. And I'm glad that it's gonna be getting a lot of use around her household. As far as my two cents go on the E7, I wanted to talk about it first as a flashlight independently of the system at large because I think this is a good EC flashlight on its own. Primarily because of the clip. It makes this you know, nice and pocketable. Deeply in pocket, it's not gonna fall out as easily that way. I like the lights, the LEDs at 90 degrees. You know, with this clip, offers a lot of different illumination options. Um, like we talked about before from a pocket or a strap. The magnetic tail is also good. Could be a good toolbox light as well to have you know, if you're working on some projects and need illumination in your work area. I like the battery status illuminator on the switch. I like the all metal construction. Five year warranty inspires a lot of confidence in the build quality and longevity of the flashlight. I like the IP68 water rating, drop safe to one and a half meters, all that's good. And um, yeah, we're getting into the system, I really like what Wubin's done here because, you know, each user, each customer can kind of choose the setup that works the best for them with this flashlight. For some people, it's just going to be the E7 in and of itself, and then others might want you know more to hang on to or more runtime, so the extension tube is going to be a good choice. Um, other people may want the headlamp strap, which I think is very well designed. It's nice and grippy, easily adjustable. Um, that goes for the straps as well as the ratchet system here. And um, yeah, the fact that it's all compatible, like the extension tube. Um, and the E7 with this light as well. If you want to take it up another notch, you got the inductor as well. So yeah, I really like what Wubin's brought to the market here with the E7. And the MSRP on the flashlight itself is $39.98, um, but Wubin does run sales, which is a good opportunity to pick the light up at an even better price. And then they've offered a pretty generous discount code to the viewers of this channel as well. And that discount code is PME20. So if there isn't a sale going on on Wubin's site, you can use the code PME20 for 20% off on Wubin products, which is awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the E7. I think it's really well designed. I like the capability. I mean, 1800 lumens from something this tiny is very impressive. And the beam profile lets you get light out a good distance, but you also have a nice usable area light uh, field of illumination as well. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the E7 from Wubin. Let me know your thoughts and also if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll try to get to those, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care.